All right, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to give someone else access to your Twitter or X account without having to give them your password. This can be useful if, number one, you want a Twitter or social media manager that can create posts for you if you are not into social media, just like me, or you have a friend that is willing to help you grow your social media account, like your X account, and you don't want to do it yourself, so you just give them access to your account. They'll be able to create posts for you, respond to comments, respond to DMs and all that stuff where you are not giving them your password. And you can go and maybe drink tea or whatever it is you want. Alright, so for this video, I'm going to use two browsers. We'll imagine that one browser is your social media manager and the other browser is yours. So for this um, video, I want to use this account, click and tap X as the social media manager. And if I switch to Chrome, Choose text is going to be the, should I say, my account so that um, the other account will be able to create posts for me on this account. Hope that makes sense. All right, so let's continue. All right, so Brave Browser is going to be the social media manager and um, Chrome is going to be me. So first thing I'm going to do is to tell my social media manager to enable the option that will allow me to invite him or her to access or manage my Twitter account. I keep saying Twitter, X account. Okay, so I'll... This is the social media manager now. All they have to do is to come here to more, click settings and support, and then click settings and privacy. Next, they'll come here to security and account access. And over here where it says delegate, they'll click it. And this option that says allow others to invite you to their account, they just click here to enable it. So they will get two options. The first one is to allow anyone to invite you, which is okay. And the second option to only allow people you follow to invite you. This is even more secure because if I select this one, it means anybody on Twitter or anybody on X will be able to delegate me to their channel. God, I keep saying Twitter. You guys understand Twitter is X. So keep anyone I say, please just take it like that. All right. So for this tutorial, I'll click here because I'm not sure I'm following anybody on this account. So you tell your social media manager if they are not following you, they should click here. That is all. But if they are following you, they can just click here and keep it that way. So that's all for here. So now I'll go back to my account. And we are on Chrome and Chrome is me. Brave is social media manager. So I'll come up here to more. Basically the same thing. Settings, settings and privacy. Um, where is it? Security and account access and then delegate. So I don't have to activate this on my account. I'll just come here to members you have delegated and then I'll click invite a member. So all I have to do now is just search for the username. I can include the ad if I want, or if I don't want to, I can just type the username and um, Twitter is going to find it. So this is my social media manager. I'll click and then I'll decide the role that they should have on the channel. So if they just, if you just want them to, you know, respond to direct messages like this, or publish posts or create lists, all that stuff, then you can just select contributor. But if you want them to be able to add more people that will be able to do the same stuff for you, like create posts, then this is the one you have to go for. But just to be safe, I'm going to use this one and then I'll click send invite. So it says invite sent. Now I'm going to switch back to my social media marketer social media manager, not marketer. And next I'll access my Gmail. So if I click here, you'll see that I've received an email saying that um, this person has um, invited you to be a contributor in their delegation, blah, blah, blah. You don't have to do anything here. This is basically just like a notification to let you know that someone is trying to invite you to manage their Twitter account. That is your manager. So all of that, so all they have to do is just click more, basically the same thing again. And when they get here, this time they'll see accounts delegated to you you should click on it and uh, you can see over here pending invites so i have this account that wants me to or wants the manager god i hope i'm not confusing you guys but um, this account wants the manager to run the channel or the account anyways just click here to accept the invitation and that's basically all so now if i click here You'll see now that I have two accounts that I can access. I don't need the password for this one to be able to access it. All I have to do is just click on it and I'll be able to create posts. You can see it says switch accounts. So I'll click switch accounts and uh, I'll be able to create posts for shoes text, which was 
the name of the channel but i had to change it because people were thinking that i'm chinese <laughs> anyways it wasn't loading but i just refreshed a bit and now it's back so if i head over to profile you can see now that i have access to this twitter account my internet is a bit slow so let's see if i can create a post or a tweet it's now a post so i'll click here testing if i click post you can see now it says your post was sent i don't use twitter that much so i don't have a lot of history on twitter anyways you can see the post is here and i'll just delete it because yeah. all right so after you have given access to someone and you want to remove them well like i said brave browser is for the manager so this is now me so i'll just i'll just refresh or oh, let me just head over to the home page do it from scratch so all i have to do is just come here click um, click settings and support settings and privacy security and account access um, delegate members you have delegated and from here i can remove this channel or this twitter profile if i want and if i want i can also change the role so if i select admin this person will be able to add other people to be able to post on my behalf so if you click remove you can confirm by clicking here i'll cancel that for now i'll do that later but well, that's basically how you do it if you found this video helpful please give it a like I've had to do this like three times because I tried it on my device and for some reason my Android phone keeps hiding the screen. It's for security reasons anyway, but I don't see anything that is supposed to be secured here, Android for you. Anyways, thank you for watching. Give it a like, ask your questions and um, yeah, I'll be seeing you in the next video. Subscribe for more videos like this. Bye-bye.